Welcome to our storage room. Four weeks ago, it was nothing but a mess. And now, it's this. Six years ago, I started working from home when I started my own business. Last year, we built a new house, and then in the spring, life got complicated. Our first grader came home from school and didn't go back. Our four-year-old came home from daycare and didn't go back. My wife came home from work and brought all of her conference calls and didn't go back. I used to work at home alone. Now I don't. When we realized COVID-19 wasn't going anywhere and we were gonna be in this for a while, we thought, how could we do this better? And here's what we've come up with. This is the Remote Learning Lab project. Welcome to our storage room. It was never meant to be the chaos that it was four weeks ago before we decided to move forward with this project. Since we knew the kids were going to be spending a lot of time in here, we wanted it to be colorful and inviting. My wife's only stipulation was that she got to paint this bomb ass mural on the wall. Here's a look at everything we're going to be using. So, we're going to use this table. This spring we sanded it down to repurpose and use on our outside patio. And then this project came along and we realized that it was perfect for the job. The table will actually get turned this way from amazon we found these curtains and these tension rods so this will actually get closed off we've got another curtain that is across here drums are going to stay there the tv is going to go here and then we've got some extra stuff from ikea that we had in our old house the most important aspect was it had to be easy enough for a seven-year-old to use we picked up an elgato stream deck because it was perfect for this situation it lets us control the volume, turn on and off the lights, and most importantly, mute and unmute the call. For the display, we've gone with a 50 inch Samsung TV that's wall mounted with a back box that contains the Mac mini. The speaker bar from Crestron has an integrated microphone array and a Hudley IQ camera. We chose it because it's capable of finding everyone in the room and making sure that they're part of the shot. To reduce the shadows and improve video quality, we're using Elgato key lights at the front near the TV. Rounding out the lights are some Philips Hue lights at the back of the room. For the kids though, they just like to change the colors. For the keyboard and mouse, I went with the MX series from Logitech. I liked them because we could quickly switch between the Mac mini and the school issued iPad. A fully clamp mount surge protector provides power for charging all of our devices. To extend the USB from the Mac mini, we've added an Anchor 7 port USB hub. With everything built and the software up and running, we gave it a final test. Okay. With all the peripherals installed and some visual aesthetic, we were able to transform this boring storage room into a fun, warm environment for our kids to focus on remote learning. Since recording this video, our son has begun his school year in his very own remote learning lab. Overall, this project took a few days, but the length varies depending on how transformative you want to be with your space. Since our boys would be using the space for remote learning, we kept it kid friendly. But the same process could be followed for a home office for remote work and video conferencing. Links to all the items that we've purchased for this build can be found in the description below. This is not a sponsored video or made in partnership with any of the manufacturers we have mentioned. That's it for the Remote Learning Lab. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in learning more about smart homes and living under control, make sure you subscribe to our channel.